Welcome to yet another episode of the Chuck Camper Build, part 60, maybe 70, whatever, doesn't matter. Look at the title. If you're new, this is a whole entire series where we're building, completely rebuilding a 1977 Sunline Chuck Camper, and it will be used. We will get there, we will use it, it will come. But for now, you're gonna see all of the plumbing. Everything that you want to know about the plumbing on this camper is going to be in this video. We're showing you the, we're, we're even reusing the old plumbing. Can you believe that? That's nasty. You know, it didn't even stink. It was so old. It smelled like nothing. We're going to be storing feces in the camper soon. It's going to be a really good day. Stay tuned for all the exciting drain plumbing. All right, I want to show you guys the plumbing. So this is what I, the plumbing that was underneath the camper. And this is the valve here. It goes like that. So this is all the gray water plumbing, shower, kitchen sink, and then what was the bathroom sink, that's gonna get deleted. And this right here is actually the bottom of the black tank, which is right connected to the toilet, directly above it. This is all, so, so this was the flange here. And then here's the valve that used to be in there. And then here's the other side of the flange. And then underneath there was your cap, all right? Now coming out of the tank is a different pipe. I'll show you later. But we have this piece to replace that flange. That replaces that. Then we got the valve. So I got a Valterra brand valve, which the hole's lined up for it. So hopefully that works with a metal handle. And then we got a new cap with a uh, garden hose drain for the gray water. So as of now, all we have is the closet flange, which is like a toilet flange. If you watch my other videos, you'll see that's the bottom of the black tank, hanging out of the bottom of the black tank. And then I have the shower drain right there, which is stubbed out. And then there will be a drain over there. Are you being a little pipsqueak? Hmm? Pipsqueak? One of the next things I got to do is this right here is the plumbing that goes behind the wall and goes all the way to the sink. So this here has to get connected to another pipe and then drilled through the floor. I just insulated it and then so I, I drilled this uh, compartment hole a long time ago so I knew where it was. So now I can just drill through it the whole saw and there's my, that's where I'm, my guide and then it'll drill through the underbelly. Perfect. Just a little bit of slop, perfect. On to the next project. Ran out of parts over there. I need more Fernco couplings. Getting the seals ready for the new valve. This is the new um, spigot or hub, I don't know. Spigot size flange for a three inch. This is the seal that goes on there and it just kind of sits in that groove like. All the way around, fits really nice. That's Valterra brand. ABS so that makes sense why that fits what is going to be the interesting part Is seeing if it fits I measured the holes, but I don't know See if it fits this old. Okay. I have a little alcohol here. I'm just gonna clean this up. It's been laying in the camper for two years So look at all that dirt Let's Try and get this mating surface as good as I can but then this is the valve gasket. Let's see if it sits. See, I don't know. It's kind of just, it's just there. You know what I mean? I don't know how else to explain it. It's just, it's just there. I'm not gonna say it's a nice fit. So I guess it just goes in there like that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> These aren't the right size bolts for that. I guarantee you they'll fit in the new ones that come with it. Yeah. Bolt. Look at that. Crap in the way. Put this gasket back on. Get our valve. Then you put this on there. Then you put a bolt in. To keep it lined up. Alright, so now we're going to see if this stays. I don't know. 
Hey, it looks good. You know what? We should probably put the bolts in the other way because if you need to access the nuts from the bottom, it's going to be way easier. Instead of dealing with the bolt heads, you want to deal with the nuts on the bottom. All right, I'm going to shut you guys down. You get the point. Crisscross applesauce so that they tighten evenly. It's like lug nuts. We're going to see if we can make this cap work. First of all, let's get the sticker out of it. That's not going to do anything good for us. Alright, you see that? See that right there? I'll show you how to get rid of that. All right, you take this orange poop spray here. Spray the rag here good. It smells good. And then you just go at it with some elbow grease. And then you got to use a fingernail and stuff. But and don't be afraid to add more poop juice. You know, this is the sewage pipe. You don't. We don't want this to stink. So we're going to pre-soak the plastic with the poop juice. Get that dried off. See that? Gone. Now we don't have a problem. Let's see if we can get this little band off of here. It's just a nipple. Well, the nipple's gone now. I guess that's how it goes. We'll just tie it up or something. Just like that. Tighten that on like this. <clears throat> Done. Let's see if the valve works. Oh. I mean, that was like butter. That is nice. I got a five foot six and a four inch ABS pipe. I'm going to take a sawzall with a steel blade and I have this marked of where I want to cut it. So let's do it. It's a pretty crucial thing we got going on. So what you're looking at is this is the closet flange, which is what it's considered, which is usually for household toilets, which is solvent welded to the bottom of the black tank. And you can watch an old video to see that. But that's what's sticking out of the floor here and now the belly pan. So in order to get to the, to the right plumbing and also have a flexible joint here, which is what I want, I want to put one of these 4 by 3 Fernco couplings. But this is too loose. So this is supposed to be, well, this is 4-inch ABS that's so supposed to slip on there like that, right? Well, it's a little loose. It says it's supposed to accept it, but not that great this is also abs so what we got to do is we got to weld this on there with abs cement and um, see if we can make this work i'm going to put a lot on there to kind of fill the gap but here goes nothing and we really don't have a lot of time to fool around so let's see what we can do here all right swipe for good luck here Just in this joint. We have to see if our glue is dried. Mm, it's not completely dry. It's still tacky. So it's pretty stout though. Alright, the next step we gotta do, see how well this works with the fern coat fitting. We gotta get this in there. Anyway, I can only reach an open end wrench, so I'm gonna see if I can tighten it. I got that tightened up pretty decent. This is the shower drain, that's kind of loose. Now, we are gonna put this in there, like that, as far as it goes. I just want it so to hold it. Okay, it's snug on there, the area for the shower drain. Got the spit lube, let's see what we can do here. I don't wanna put too much pressure on that other fitting over there. So there you go, so I'm gonna tighten all this up. This is the drain, and it goes to all that plumbing there, but it's loose, so you see this? We're gonna fix this. So my plan is to take a piece of angle, bolt this up here, and then take this stainless steel U-bolt that I got, bolt that in there, and then fasten it in. I'll show you what we got. Hey, tank. 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 Okay. That's it. It's all it's all you get from him. 
I got stainless hardware to hold the angle up there. This angle I just had, it's aluminum. I scuffed it if I wanted to paint this later. And uh, we're gonna do butyl tape and everything else behind it and make it waterproof and get this nice and tight. All right, I finally got this completed. Well, it's not totally completed, but it's good enough. I had to put some double nuts and stuff like that, back that backing plate that came with it and everything to keep it real stable. So now I'm just gonna trim that butyl tape and then I'll caulk it. And I did put blue Loctite in there uh, so they don't vibrate loose and uh, it's complete. It's definitely stout now. Here are the steps that we got. It's a, the original. So these steps are, uh, you know, they, they're functional. They just need to be cleaned up and repainted and straightened out because I bent them upon removal. And also we have to measure to see what size lag bolts to get so that you don't drill through the whole floor, so. Don't you go up there, little stinker. Check out the update on the steps. Got like four or five coats of paint on these bad boys. I use satin so it doesn't look too crazy. It's still got a gloss to it. I mean, even being satin, I like the sheen. Here is the final, well, never. it's never final, right? But as you can tell, we have the steps on. There you go. Let me pull them out for you, slide them out. Totally done. Got them temporarily on there with some galvanized half inch lag bolts. Big boys, I don't want it going anywhere. I'm gonna change those to stainless so that they stay nice and rust free. But for now, I can only get galvanized, or uh, I can only get zinc coated. So let's check out the plumbing that I have. Obviously it's not complete, but I wanted to drive it in the rain. Temporarily, we have some duct tape just to keep the uh, keep the water out when you're driving. I wanted to, um, there's, there's some slight leaks filling this up, but it's definitely stout, right? But there are some slight leaks, um, very slight. And I kind of moved on to some other projects. So that's why the duct tape is there because I wanted to, here's the other nice and U-bolt I did on this side, but I wanted to get this situated and deal with the leaks at a later date. I got the cap right here, which is capped off, which is where the old sink, bathroom sink drain was. And um, you know, it's working. Everything's working, same with this deal. I have this duct tape so that I can take this duct tape off, look into those joints and get this thing completely filled with water and then get it leak free. As of now, there are some slight leaks. I'm not using it, so it's kind of like, it's there, but this is just to the point now of just buttoning up slight leaks. Um, that, can, that can be done, that happens with every camper. As far as the build, and retrofit of it is designs concerned. It's completed as far as from what I think. And um, you know, it all, it all is done. Poop shoot, yeah. Nice.